I'm Virginia McGatha here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the livestock market. Today, cattle slipped a little bit. There has been uh, some profit taking. There's not much cash cattle trade today. So uh, maybe over the next two days, we're going to get a little bit more. We kind of expected that it would start to pick up somewhat. So we're watching that closely. The lackluster trade uh, really has been kind of pressuring the future and pushing it down, uh, but not that much. Yeah, I mean, it's still uh, we gave back some of the profits that we made over the last uh, couple of days, and uh, there ha and that has created some volatility. So we're expecting that we're going to have a little bit of that. Not much really happening, and I'll say that it kind of shows in the feeder cattle. The feeders were down, uh, certainly not as much as the live cattle, and. Uh, they're also consolidating in a very tight range. Uh, it seems that the feed prices are now a little bit of an issue for corn, soybeans, and wheat. And as we look at it, we, with feed prices being a little bit higher, uh, we know that that's going to make it uh, and put some pressure on the uh, beef market overall. But wholesale prices were a little bit lower. And so I think all, the, all that news coming in really pushed it down some. Uh, the one we've been watching a lot is the hogs, but they dropped today. The futures seem to be a little bit overbought and we really uh, you know took the market down some I mean certainly more than we have since the market rallied uh, starting from August uh, 9th so when you think about it we've had a decent rally over the last uh, four or five weeks and everyone's enjoying that because we've been suffering all summer long in the uh, uh, for the lean hogs but the uh, cash prices are still actually kind of decent uh, in, in all of that and overall we're still pretty strong now we've we've moved straight up for quite a long time so uh, I think that some profit taking you know it's possible that this is that you know it was going to be coming that being said it hasn't really come down all that much so we're going to look for more sales in the next couple of days we can could get a little bit of a shot in the arm and have that move higher all those negative uh, issues that came across from the swine flu to the uh, hurricane uh, and uh, to also the, um, uh, the tariffs. Now, uh, once those things start to, you know, start to ease up a little bit, I think that we're going to see that the market's going to continue to move a little bit higher. So we're watching and waiting. I think that uh, we want to need a little more news so we can have some a uh, continuation of this move higher. I don't see that much kind of pulling it back some, maybe just profit taking right now. But the market is relatively strong even though we're having a down day today. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. Here in Chicago, I'm Virginia McGathy.